Welcome to this Wood Solutions Campus presentation on the general production process for strand, flake, particle and fibre products. A common way to recover valuable products from logs or parts of the logs that are unsuitable for sawing or peeling is to break the material down into small components such as particles, flakes or fibre and then glue these small pieces together into a panel or into a billet. The product's performance can be tailored for specific applications by manipulating the size of the wood components used and their arrangement and the thickness of the panel or the billet. Sheets and similar panel materials can be used immediately. Large billets that can be made are often resawn into sizes suitable for building. There are four main groupings of small wood components used to make this type of panel product. The first is strand. These are like narrow pieces of veneer and are used as the base resource for parallel strand lumber or PSL and laminated strand lumber or LSL. The next is flakes. These are small irregular pieces of wood flaked off the log and used in oriented flake and strand board. The next is wood particles. This is wood ground into small gritty pieces and used to make chip and particle boards. The last is the smallest, wood fibre. This is fine fibres of wood compressed into fibre boards of varying densities. Low density, medium density and high density fibre board. Two of these product types are made in Australia, particle board and fibre board. This video shows the stages in the production process for particle board. Productions of other types of panels and billets will be broadly similar, though each will have unique characteristics. The main production stages for making particle boards include collecting the resource, breaking down the resource, drying, screening, glue and fibre mixed or mixing, mat and billet formation, pressing, board sawing and sanding, and handling and storage. This first stage is collecting the resource. Available clean wood in various forms is collected at the panel mill. Various wood resources are used, including small forest logs and wood chips, sawdust and offcuts from local sawmills. Solid material is chipped and then shredders, knife rings and screens are used to break the available wood resource into particles or fibres of the size or shape suitable for the intended product. This shredded material then has to be dried to a consistent moisture content. Large dryer and conveyor systems are used to dry the wood pieces to a moisture content suitable for further processing. Once the resource mix is dry, vibrating screen tables are used to separate it into batches of particles based on their size. These batches can then be used to control the size of the particle placed in particular locations in the mat or the billet. With the particles batched, they can be mixed with adhesive. The proportion of adhesive to wood is very important. Applicators, mixers and conveyors are used to mix the adhesive evenly into the wood pieces in the correct proportion and conditions for mat or billet formation. This video shows a conveyor weighing the core material for particle board before it is mixed with the adhesives. This is a similar conveyor weighing much finer surface material for the particle board. From here it will be mixed with adhesives in the correct proportions. The various batches of particle board and adhesive mix come together during mat formation. Mat laying machines are used to form layers of particles of the correct thickness and orientation in a low density mat on a conveyor belt. This machine is laying the mat in one pass with coarser particles towards the centre of the mat and finer particles towards the outside. Other processes build up the mat in layers. Here the mat has been formed and a last dusting of fine particles is being added to the surface. Once the mat has been formed, it is cut to the required length, passes through an initial press and then loaded into the main press. The main press has a series of steam heated platens and a series of in-feed and out-feed conveyor systems. 
the formed mats are moved into the press and held under sufficient pressure and heat to cure the adhesive and achieve the desired sheet density and thickness. Once the adhesive is cured, the press opens. And while the cured sheets are unloaded onto trays on one side, new sheets enter the press from the other. The press sheets are hot and they need to be cooled before they can be stacked and handled. Cooler racks and associated handling equipment are used to cool the hot boards in a controlled manner so that curing completes and the items are safe to handle. Edges and trimmer saws, sanders and profiles are then used to saw, sand and prepare the raw press board into the final market shapes, sizes and finishes. The final boards are then stacked in packs ready for handling and distribution into the market. In summary, valuable products can be recovered from logs that are unsuitable for sawing or peeling and the parts of logs not recovered in sawing and peeling. They can be converted to a resource of strands, flakes, particles or fibres and used to make a range of press panel or billet products. The thickness and the piece arrangement in the panel or billet can be manipulated to maximise the product's performance in specific applications. The production stages for making these products vary considerably, but often include collecting the resource and resource breakdown, drying, screening, glue mixing, mat or billet formation, pressing, board sawing and sanding, and handling and storage.